Hi folks, it's Ron. Now, as you probably know, compression coax connectors have really taken over the industry in the last 10, 15 years. And I don't care what industry you're in, whether you're a cable guy, satellite guy, or even the audio video guys, we've all made the move to compression type of coax connectors. And I tell contractors, if you're still using older style type of uh, connectors out there, like old crimp-ons or worse, even push-on type of coax fittings, uh, give up the ghost and make the move over to compression because really that's what all those service providers are pretty much mandating today. Now, the problem in the past has been the, you know, when you're working with different type of connectors, having the right tool to work with that particular type of connector, whether it was an F or BNC or RCA type of connector. Now, that usually meant uh, two or three tools. And, uh, you know, we all love keep track of multiple tools to do just really just one job. And, and you also had to know how to adjust that tool for the particular connector you had to have in your hand, too. So you had to go check out Ideal's new OmniSeal Pro XL uh, compression tool. It's our catalog number 30-793. And you can check it out on Ideal's website or call con uh, customer service if you'd like to learn more about how you get your hands on one of these. It's also available in a toolkit where it's, it, it's our catalog number 33-793. And it'll have the tool in it, our uh, Prep Pro Coax UTP stripping tool, uh, dated T-cutter for cutting cables, all in a nice pouch with a belt clip you can hang on your hip. And uh, one of the great things about this stuff, it's all made here in the good old United States in Sycamore, Illinois. Now the compression tool will compress any of Ideal's compression connectors uh, with no adjustment to it. And unlike other tools that do require some sort of adjustment, depending on the type of connector you have in your hand or some special adapter you gotta put in the tool in order to compress a, a certain type of connector, this one compact tool will compress all of them. From BNCs to RCAs to F connectors to even RG11 F connectors can all be compressed with the tool with no adjustments. And only our newer 90 degree right angle type connectors will require a slight adjustment of the tool in order to compress them. The tool has a nice feel to it and is made of high strength aluminum for rugged durability and long life. Plus the textured non-slip grip will allow you to compress connectors easily. The tool comes factory set and should not have to be adjusted and you can double check this by squeezing the handles together all the way down. Now the adjustable post in the middle here will be even with the largest graduated mark in the center. And in this position, you can compress almost all of Ideal's compression connectors. The tool also has three levels of uh, compression surfaces here. And level one here is for all F-type and RCA-type compression connectors. Level two here is for all B and C compression connectors. And those are spring-loaded and they'll move out of the way for level three here, which is on the end of the tool, for all RG11 compression connectors. Here I have several different types of coax and coax connectors in front of me that I'm going to compress using the tool. And I'll start with here with a piece of RG6 with an F connector on the end of it. And it easily loads into the tool and it's going to rest up against that first compression level in the tool, but it can easily be compressed with the tool. Now I'm going to move over to an RCA on a piece of RG6 as well. And it loads in the tool exactly the same way. And it's still up against that first compression level in the tool, but it can easily be compressed as well. I'll move over to the other end of that cable, and that's a B and C on a piece of RG6. Now, B and C connectors are a little longer, so it's going to rest up against the second compression level in the tool, or level of the tool, and it can easily be compressed. And I'll even switch over here to a RG59 version of a B and C connector, and it loads in the tool exact same way, and it's going to rest up against that uh, second compression level, but it can be easily compressed as well. And here's a piece of RG11. Now. RG11 is the type of cable you might find between pedestal, pedestal, and people's backyards. And it's got a big old beefy connector on the end of it. But it can also be loaded into the tool. And this time it's going to rest up against the third level of the compression levels. And it can be compressed using the tool as well. And um, each of those are done fairly easy using the tool. The adjustable post of the tool is designed to fit all of Ideal's compression connectors. It has a locking nut to prevent the tool from coming out of adjustment. And for non-ideal connectors, which do not have enough structural integrity inside the nut, such as some 50-ohm BNCs or RCA connectors, the tool has an adjustable spinning knob which allows compression forces to be placed on the front rim of the connector instead of the bottom of the nut. Simply spin the knob all the way out to the edge of the adjustable post when needed. It is also helpful when adjusting the tool to compress Ideal's 90-degree compression connector. Adjust the knob out to almost the end of the post then loosen the locking nut and using a screwdriver, 
lower the adjustable post until the right angle connector can fit between the adjustable post and the second compression surface level in the tool. Then compress the connector onto the RG6 coaxial cable. So if you're a cable TV or a satellite installer, or maybe just a security guy that'd like to upgrade to a better quality compression tool, I've got your product right here for you. So contact Ideal's customer service department to find a distributor nearby you that actually stocks the new OmniSeal Pro XL compression tool from Ideal Industries. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal. I'll see you on the next one.